In this tutorial, I want to show us on how we can create a simple 3D animated logo using After Effects without the use of any plugin. Let's create a new composition. Uh, let's call it Main Comp. Let's give it a width of 1920 and a height of 1080. The frame rate of 29.97 and a duration of 10 seconds. Okay, let's create another composition. Let's call it logo. Let's give it a width of 600 and a height of 600. Give everything default. Okay. Now, in all, let's drag our our logo to our project panel. Go and place it on your timeline under the logo composition. You can press S and then scale it up. Now let's go to our main composition and drag our logo composition to the main composition like that. You can also adjust it as you wish. You can press S to adjust it or you can leave it as it is. So let me leave it there at one. Let me place it at 150. Now let us apply a drop shadow on this logo. Not a drop shadow, sorry. Let us apply brightness on this logo. And you want to check use legacy and make brightness of negative 150 the reason we are placing brightness here is because we shall duplicate this logo several times and this one will form something like a, a 3d shadow later on so once we have added the drop shadow here let us make it a 3d by activating 3d and then press p to bring out a position and then right click on position and select separate dimensions and then press alt then click then type an expression of index that's okay now we will need to duplicate our logo several times so the more layers you duplicate, the more 3D the logo will appear. So let me press P to hide that and press Command D to duplicate that logo. So I'll press it like that. I will duplicate it about 30 times. Twenty-nine. So let me make it 30. 31 I think that's okay you can you can duplicate the, the number you want and now let us remove the drop shadow I mean let us remove the brightness on the first layer so you can reset or you can just delete and now let us apply a drop shadow on the last layer but before we do that we can hide these layers the second layer we can select the second layer and second first layer and click on this shy mode and then ensure you have activated the shine mode the shy mode to hide the layers so the layers are there but we need to hide them because they are distracting us so we only remain with the layer number one and layer number that one so on layer the last layer we we'll let us go to effects and presets and search for an effect called drop shadow let's add it here let's make the softness to be about 100 that's okay now for us to see now our 3d logo we will need to apply a camera so right click or go to layer new and select camera just select uh, you can give your camera a name 
and then let me select 50 mm and then click OK so in order to see the 3d you can just press the key the C key or go to orbit tool the camera orbit tool and then try to orbit as long as you can see this, if I zoom this is how it appears like a 3d this this outline is the the duplicated layers with a, a with reduced brightness of negative 150 if I show the layers and then try duplicate more layers here the more you duplicate the more the thickness will increase so let me just undo that okay so that's how it appear but now we need now to create some keyframes for our logo so let me press p and click on this position then let me just reset it to default like that and now i need to create an object a null object so right click go to uh, null object and then we can rename it to camera control and then let us make it 3d and then let us now parent our camera to the camera control like that and we can now press r for rotation and press shift and s to bring up scale and now we can create some keyframes for our scale and our rotation so let's click on scale click on x rotation y rotation and z rotation let's now grab our keyframes and move them about four seconds and now let us animate at the beginning of the timeline let's say we want our x rotation to be 45 degrees the y rotation to be 45 degrees and the z rotation to be 15 degrees you can use your own values it doesn't matter and now let's now bring let us bring this up to here so here I will want to adjust the scale I can adjust it a little bit say I want it to be scaled up like that so I'll create another scale or you can leave it uh, if you don't want to use the scale so if we try to ramp preview this is how it will look so I, I don't want to exhaust my system resources so pause that is it and now let's select all our all our keyframes like that and press f9 on the keyboard to to make them easy to easy them out or you can right click and then go to keyframe assistant then easy is or just press f9 on your keyboard so it will like that then go to graphic editor and then ensure it's in edit speed mode so select on edit speed mode and then just let's grab this endpoint and let's drag it to about 75 percent influence and then that is okay like that so we can now see how that is so lastly let us create a background so right click new solid and let's give a background a solid color i think that color is okay triple one eight twenty click OK OK just drag our background 
to me below the logos and there we go so we have been able to create an animated logo without the use of any plugin so there are small things that you can do you can add a text um, then you can also add a soundtrack I hope this video helped you and you can get the project uh, files in the description in the video description below so you can be able to to download this project and just replace your logo then you just replace this logo here in the logo panel and then everything will retain as it is thank you for watching and i i want to ask you that you may to support me by subscribing liking and even commenting if the video was of value to you.